you're going to fail, fail big. I was reminded of that over the weekend. If you're going to fail, you might as well fail big. So I thought of this idea for the Burt Show, and it might be awkward. It might fail. I don't know. We've never tried it before. This might be the most painful 10 minutes of radio we have done in a lot in a long time. And that's saying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, quite honestly, this whole show was um, it, 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 it uses the premise. If you're going to fail, fail big. When we started this thing 23 years ago, everybody that started on this show didn't have the experience in radio that they were applying to this particular show. So it was an experiment that could have gone really south really, really quick. And it worked. Okay, and here we are 23 years later. This not as big as as that. But here was my idea, is that we know within the first two, three, five minutes of a date, if you want to see this dude or you want to see this woman again, but there you are stuck for half an hour or an hour committing your time. So the premise here on the two-minute test drive is, I was looking for a guy to call up. We would give him 60 seconds. We're not using real names either. So there's no pressure at the end of this thing to say, I want to go out with this person or not. Because I think if we know your real name, then you're going to want to like be liked on the radio and you're going to go, sure. And then you don't show up on the date, right? So we're going to do it anonymously. <laughs> Looking for a guy, one eight five five Burt Show. For 60 seconds, you tell us what you are all about and what you are looking for in a woman. Then with any luck at all, we have that particular kind of woman call up we just put you guys on the radio we listen to you guys for two minutes all right see if the chemistry is right it might really be awkward uh and then you guys will go your separate rate ways you will decide if you want to go out on this date or not based on your two minutes and if you both say yes we provide you with the date two minutes is a long time long time I don't. I don't think few people realize that, but you gonna they, realize it once you win. It, <laughs> it starts to get awkward, sit. and we're not gonna intervene, right? We're, we're gonna, gonna sit. We're gonna sit all. silent. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, we can't say a word for two whole minutes. Two minutes. Okay. All right. <laughs> One minute test drive didn't have the same. No, it doesn't. Yeah, two two uh, minute test yeah. drive did. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we are gonna call this dude, this very brave dude, Kenny. Good morning, Kenny. You are on the Bird Show. Morning. I, Morning. Ap I applaud you already for calling and saying, you know what? I will take this challenge. Uh, that's me. Okay. All right, Kenny, uh, we want to give you 60 seconds. Tell us about yourself. Tell us about exactly what you are looking for in a woman. What, however you want to fill this 60 seconds. At the end, I'm going to give the phone number. I don't know. Maybe I do it now. one 855 If Kenny says something that you're like, oh, mm, oh, mm, mm, oh, mm. okay. Then we'll put you guys on together and you'll have conversation for two minutes and we'll find out if you guys got chemistry or not. Yes, Tom. Now, I do have a 60 second ticker. Is that going to be annoying in the yes, background? it will be annoying. All right, so yeah. we won't use that. All right, Kenny. So do you understand the premise here? Yeah, uh, no pressure, no look, pressure. Look, for a dude, this should be easy. Talk 60 seconds about yourself. That's it. <laughs> we do that for an hour and a half at a time on dates. <laughs> <laughs> Uninterrupted. Right? All right, Kenny, so you're 60 seconds, who you are and what you are looking for in a woman. 60 seconds, uninterrupted, starts right now. All right, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just a guy. I'm free-spirited. I'm, I'm looking for someone who is willing to travel with me. I love traveling, uh, going to different places, new experiences, uh, different continents. Uh, I love the water. I love being in the water. I love being in the beach, uh, scuba diving, stuff like that. I want to be with someone who's not afraid of, you know, like scuba diving, swimming with sharks, uh, skydiving, just doing random crazy things like that. Uh, that's the type of person that I am. I'm also very loving. I love eating. Oh my God. I love eating. I love going out to eat, trying different places, different cuisines from different countries. Um, that's like my biggest thing. And I love napping. I love sitting down at the end of the day in the couch and then <laughs> pretend that I'm going to watch something. And then within five minutes, I'm, I'm just out. I'm done. You know, uh, that's something that I really love doing. What else? What else can I tell you about me? Uh, I love my for? motorcycle. Yeah. What are you looking for in a woman? Oh, what am I looking for? I love eyebrows. I love thick, thick, thick eyebrows. <laughs> I think something about the eyebrow just just shapes the woman. You know, I, I, it's I know, I know, I know. It's weird. It's weird, but you know, I'm an eyebrow type of guy. Uh, it's just someone who I can talk to, you know, and, and just someone who can be there for me, and I can be there for them. 
just a partnership. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. All right. So let me give the phone number out for women. one 855 Uh If you've got thick what? Brows? Eyebrows. Yeah, eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah. Brows is right. <laughs> the eyes yeah. are the windows to the soul, Bert. <laughs> the, the eyebrows man is are the drapes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you like to travel, what else did he say? And if you're adventurous, because he wants to go scuba diving, skydiving, swimming with sharks. But he seems like he is... He, he's. He's kind of like all over the place as far as like he can mm-hmm. do that, but he also loves to take a good nap. All right. One, Wants to try adventurous foods. one 855 Uh Kenny, um, while we're waiting the fo- for the phones to ring, you know I have a gift here, and my gift is being able to hear an accent oh boy. and tell you exactly where you are from without knowing. You know that, right? You can? I can. And in listening to you, I can tell that you are from what? <laughs> you are good, my man. I'm right. What? Wow. Whoa. I'm right. No, no, no. Is he right? No, no. Kenny, is he right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just. I'm, I'm trying to make you feel, guys, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's from Milwaukee. <laughs> You're not from Puerto you Rico. Here, taking the pressure off of me, and I appreciate that. So I'm like, you know, let me just return the favor. You, he's, know? He's you make us you feel good by telling us bone. Bone. <laughs> uh, The Dominican Republic is certainly where you're from. The Dominican Republic. Uh, no, 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 neither one. Okay, uh, no, no, no. Third time's a charm. Should. <laughs> Should Kenny say how old he is just for the ladies calling in? I'm um, sure. Because I don't think he included that. Okay. How old are you, Kenny? I'm 28. 28 years old. All right. Amber here is willing. Amber wants to be on the voice disguiser. Hello, Amber. Hi. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing really good. All First right. and foremost, you got them bushy brows? <laughs> What them brows do? No. I take a look I at them right. Them on, I draw them on if that counts. Uh, 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 mm-hmm. We'd have to ask Kenny. Uh, Kenny, if they're drawing a thick brow, does that work? Uh, I mean, we can, we can, we can work with that. <laughs> Amber, I know a great woman who does eyebrows. I'll refer you to her. <laughs> All right. At this point, we're going to go ahead and we're going to back out. Okay. So, Kenny. And Amber, you understand what we're doing here. You guys are going to just have casual conversation with each other. Kenny, you ask questions. Amber, you ask questions. We're backing out for two minutes. Uh, and we're going to see if the chemistry is right. Then we'll put you guys on hold. And we'll ask you both individually, did you feel like the chemistry is right in that two minutes? And if so, if you both say yes, we will send you out on a date. Okay? Are we ready? Yeah. Okay, right. here we go. Right, on so, your mark. So far, this has gone a about what I thought it would. Neat. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I got the two minute timer lined up on my phone. All right. The entire show is going to step back from our mics, and you two will have two minutes. This is going to be hard to convert. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Can you start now? All right. So uh, the, the, tell me something about yourself. Uh, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. Maybe right. pink to be specific. I like pink. I, I used to have a huge, massive crush on the on the Pink Ranger back in the day. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was. It was a nice color. What do you in her. do for What do you do for work? Uh, I'm a personal trainer. That's fun. Yeah, I like, you know, I like staying in shape, being active. You know, it, it pays the bills. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like you to work like, out uh, well. You like you like traveling. You like you know. Going on adventures, like just random adventures, like one day you're like, all right, let's let's you know what tomorrow let's just go to like Puerto Rico, like he was talking I about do. Puerto Rico earlier. I just <laughs> um I just booked a trip with my mom to go to the Bahamas like three days ago randomly actually. Ah, Bahamas. I do like to randomly travel. <laughs> that's that's a lovely that's a lovely lovely place. They got great food over there. I've, I've been over there twice and uh, it's, a, it's a great place. Hey, maybe maybe at some point you know. We can we can go and see a different part of the Bahamas, you know. Yeah, I've never been, so this is my first time. Mm, how do you feel about swimming with sharks? I'm not afraid of sharks. Um, maybe if there were like baby sharks, maybe I would do it. But you know, I'll try. Well, that's exciting. I mean, if you're willing to try, I'm game. You know, I've never done it. I know I'm talking about like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I've done it before, but. Um, uh, you know, I just you, I don't want to do something like that with myself. You know, it's like uh, I need someone just to like just 
Yeah, no, it's just share the experience with me. Uh, that'd be kind of exciting. You sound like you'd be into that that type of thing. Yeah. What about what about cuisines? Uh, can, can you name like your favorite cuisine or like top two? Um, I love Italian food, Mexican food. Uh, yes. Um, my my aunt is actually Bolivian, so she cooks a lot. I could tell by your accent that your grandmother and your mother were Bolivian. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so your two minutes is up. So what we will do now is we will put both of you guys on hold, okay? And if you guys felt the chemistry was right in that two minutes, we will pay for a date for you guys to go out. If not, we will ask you, and you could say, you know what, I just wasn't feeling it, all right? Okay. All right, hold on one second. Got it. Hold on. Even though they're on hold, they can still hear us, right? Uh, can they, Tommy? Tommy. Yes, they can hear you. Okay. That's a long two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a very long two minutes. All right. We will see if the chemistry was as electric as I felt it was. Yes. <laughs> the rules were they both go their separate ways, and Tommy would talk to them both off the air. We have not revealed their real name, so there's no pressure to say yes. And he would reveal if they both said, yeah. Or they both said no, or one said yes, or one said no. So, Tommy, what happened? So, we talked to Amber. She was the caller that called in. That's what we're calling her, protecting her identity. And Amber said he sounded really, really interesting, and she was interested. However, Amber um, thought he might be a little too old. That's why I asked age. He's 28. And Amber basically said her mom would kill her because <gasps> Amber is 21. Uh, is that a crazy difference? I don't that think so. Bad. 21 to 28? I guess Seven years. Everybody... You guys have said on the show before that, like, the difference between that I mean, is there's, big. There, but, I mean, nah. she's... Not, no, I, I don't think... Like 20, 20, think 21 around college age, just uh, senior in college or just getting out of college compared to a 28-year-old? Yeah, I, I, if I it was 38, yeah, but I mm. like 21 and 28 just d depending on the people, that that wouldn't that age mm. difference wouldn't scare me. Uh it doesn't matter. It's that, that those are yeah. her values. Yeah. So <laughs> if, if if she's 21 and she says her mom would not be happy about this, then that probably speaks <laughs> volumes also. Mm. Yep. So she backed out of it. Yes, and I've actually got uh, Kenny still on the line, and this is the first time he's learning that she was that young. Okay. Uh, hey, Kenny. Hey, guys. All right, now, before finding out that she was 21, were you prepared, and, and just the age thing doesn't work for her or her mom? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but her mom said it. <laughs> um, were you going to say yes, or were you going to say no? I was... Uh... I mean, she sounded great, but I was leaning towards her. No, uh, the fact that she, when she mentioned that she was going on vacation with her mom, I'm like, what, what, you know, what kind of grown woman goes on vacation with her mom? Well, I do. I and do. I'm 39. Mm -hmm. What you gonna say about that, Kenny? I got a free you vacation. You hating on my mama? <laughs> Um, no, you know, I mean, I get a family vacations and, and, and that kind of thing, but I don't know. It just, it just felt like a little more like, like you know, like she's young and, and, and you know, she just felt young. Okay. And I'm, I just, I'm just looking for someone a little older. Who, Was it the eyebrows, Kenny? Come on, man. <laughs> Be real. <laughs> and tell you us the truth. What? You know what? Now no, you mentioned it when she said, you know, I draw them on. I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the first strike. I got to tell you that uh, the results here are not shocking to me no. after listening to the two of you guys so <laughs> hey i'm sorry it didn't work out but thank you very much for being our first test subject okay hey you know i try all right if we get any uh dms or any emails about you man we will pass them on to you okay got it thank all you right. see you around man. and if you're gonna dm us send us a picture of your eyebrows you need the proof <laughs> that's important if you want to go out with kenny yeah the bird show